now to continue our story of the castle on a cliff. Their trail brought them along the winding coastal road where they encountered a plethora of breathtaking seascapes that left them in awe of the world's splendor. The captivating coast stretched out before them like a welcoming embrace, the air filled with the fresh scent of the ocean. Soft golden sands and the rhythmic sight and sound of the waves created a calming effect. It was a place where Mira felt an immediate sense of peace and serenity. Do you feel that, Gypsy? Mira asked. Oh, yes, I do. Pure tranquility. As Mira walked along the shore, finding shells and sea glass, Gypsy explored and soon stumbled upon a hidden cove that seemed like a well-kept secret of nature. The entrance to the cove was nestled between two towering cliffs, concealed from view by a thick canopy of lush vegetation, creating an air of mystery. Isabel, Gypsy neighed, come see what I've found. Curiosity piqued, Mira guided Gypsy through the dense foliage, and they soon found themselves in a sheltered paradise of untouched beauty. The cliffs formed a natural embrace around the small sandy beach and the lush vegetation that surrounded it. The cove opened before them like a hidden paradise, shielded from the outside world by the protective arms of the cliffs. The turquoise waters of the cove sparkled under the sun, creating a mesmerizing display of colors. Seashells of various shapes and sizes dotted the shoreline, glimmering like hidden treasures in the sunlight. Clusters of tide pools appeared along the rocks, hosting a miniature ecosystem of tiny marine creatures. Mira found herself Mira found herself captivated by the delicate dance of sea anemones, small fish and crabs within the pools, as if they were putting on a private performance just for them. The cliffs were a sight to behold, adorned with cascading vines and hardy shrubs. The sound of trickling water echoed in the distance, hinting at the presence of a hidden waterfall concealed among the rocks. Mira brought out her paints, eager to capture the cove's magic on her canvas. She carefully recreated the deep colors of the water, the interplay of light and shadow on the rocks, and the myriad shades of green that adorned the cliff walls. Her brush danced across the canvas in an effort to convey the cove's essence. Time seemed to slow in this hidden cove, allowing Mira to immerse herself fully in her painting. Gypsy stood nearby, occasionally grazing on the soft grass that grew at the edge of the sands. The horse appreciated the harmony of Hidden Cove, and understanding its sanctity, she reflected the peace it shared so openly. When Mira finally set her canvas aside, she felt a sense of fulfillment. Hidden Cove had become a treasure she would forever hold in her heart, a place where nature's beauty had ignited her creativity and touched her very soul. Mira and Gypsy bid farewell to Hidden Cove, knowing that its enchantment would remain etched in their memories forever. They knew they had experienced something truly extraordinary. Evening approached, and Mira looked for a good place to spend the night. They found a secluded spot, protected from the wind, and Gypsy went exploring. Meanwhile, Mira built a fire with wood she found amongst the sand and grasses, and beside it she spread out a soft blanket, creating a comfortable resting spot. The campfire was crackling softly, with Mira sitting cross-legged at its side. Both Mira and Gypsy were grateful for the chance to relax and reflect on their journey as the setting sun cast a warm golden glow over the beach. As night descended, the sky transformed into a mesmerizing canvas of stars, twinkling like diamonds against the velvet backdrop. Mira lay back on the blanket, her gaze fixed on the celestial spectacle above. It's breathtaking, Gypsy. The night sky feels like a vast ocean with countless stars as our guiding lights. Gypsy, hearing the wonder in Mira's voice, approached and lay down beside her. Yes, Mira, it is so very beautiful, Gypsy said. As they lay side by side, Mira pointed out constellations to Gypsy, whispering stories of ancient myths and legends associated with the stars. 
Gypsy listened intently, imagining herself a part of the celestial tales. In the distance, the moon began to rise, casting a silvery glow over the ocean. Its reflection danced on the water's surface, creating a scene that seemed straight out of a dream. As the night wore on, Mira and Gypsy lost track of time, immersed in the wonder of the universe above and the tranquility of the secluded beach. When Mira finally decided it was time to rest, she lay her head on Gypsy's warm flank, feeling the gentle rise and fall of her companion's breath. Gypsy remained ever vigilant, keeping guard over her beloved friend, and Mira drifted into peaceful slumber under the starlit sky. In the morning, as the sun peeked over the horizon, Mira and Gypsy awoke to the beauty of a new day.